in roofing, we have a saying, and that saying is think like water. So we come to a lot of homes and we tell people that your valleys are shingled backwards or your dormers are shingled backwards. And I have a perfect example of this to show you how to shingle a valley and why it's one of the areas that leaks the most on a roof. So on this roof here, this is called a dormer or a reverse or a reverse gable. There's a lot of different names for it depending on the size and what function it's serving. But we are gonna, for the sake of uh, what we're talking about today, we're gonna call this a reverse gable. So on this reverse gable, we have a roof meeting a roof. That area where those two meet is called a valley. And when a valley is shingled in backwards, this is where the think like water comes in. So imagine you're a water droplet. Whee, you're coming out of the sky, boom, you hit the roof right up here and you start to run down the roof, right? You're coming down on your way down to the gutter and suddenly you hit this valley. So these shingles on this plane are run underneath the shingles of this plane. This is the gable, this is the main roof. So all the water that comes down here is what? Running into that valley and it's running underneath of this valley shingle. So 99 times out of 10, it may not be a problem. Um, you're not, you may not see any leaks here, although you can see someone did caulk this area. So maybe it says that there was a problem there at one point, but anywho, still imagine you're that water droplet. You're running down the roof, Whee! you're coming down, everything's still shingled in backwards. So any water that's coming from down here is crashing right in here and coming down in here. All right, so the water's running, water's running. It's all underneath all of the shingles now. Now it finds a spot where it can actually get through the shingles and it's found its spot right here. So now it's slowly dripping back here. It's dripping underneath this shingle. As you can see, someone has caulked the living you know what out of this by now. So all this water is coming down this valley, Woo and it ends up right here. And guess what we have? A giant sunken in part of the roof. So the leak isn't happening right here. The leak is originating way up there, but running all the way down and finally making its mark right here. And this is why we say that this is run in backwards because when we would go to redo this roof, this reverse gable would get shingled in first so that the water that runs off of here is not crashing into the edge of these shingles. These are gonna be tucked under these ones and everything can flow down without getting underneath other shingles. Anyways, whew, I'm hot, I need to work out more. Um, Charlie with DreamWorks.